Hey guys, this is Unfiltered Week 13. Low on time this week, so this is going to be one of those shitty quality webcam videos with crappy sound quality. Um, anyway, Unfiltered Week 12 or 13, I don't know. Deactivated Facebook this week. Oh, and it's super hot in California, that's why I'm wearing all sexy. <laughs> um, it was like three digits and stuff. Been doing some personal work this week at work. I've been staying at work um, maybe like seven, sometimes eight o'clock, you know. Basically, I uh, attended this workshop last week and um, the, the workshop instructor was saying how he would only work like four hours when he was at Blizzard and spend the rest of his time doing like personal work and working out on Facebook or whatever. So I'm all like, okay, idea before what I used to do was I would bring home my laptop and my art supplies home on the weekends, hoping that I would do some personal work. Two months have passed. Three months have passed. That has not happened. So obviously that does not work. Got to try something different, right? Like every month, every week, I'd be like, okay, next week on the weekend, I'm going to draw. And then I would never do it. So I'm like, okay, fuck that. It's not going to work. Stay a little bit later at work or wake up earlier, go to work early, and do your shit there. So basically, I'm not saying like what you should do, but it's like if what you do isn't fucking working, do something different. Okay? Like I've been doing the same thing for three months, realized, hey, this isn't working, try something different. Okay. Uh, sex talks. Okay, um... Yes, I made the sex talks video. I feel very empowered. Um, you know what shame is most afraid of? Shame is afraid of um, light, talking about it. You know, people say light is the best disinfectant. Shame really likes secrecy. Uh, that's a quote by Brene Brown. And basically, I was talking about how I was a virgin, how like I was ashamed of liking girls when I was in third grade, I was ashamed of this, and I was embarrassed for masturbating and whatever, you know, but once you start talking about it, then it becomes like, there. I mean, still I feel this embarrassment, but I realized week after week, I think I started talking about this sex talks idea like two or three, four a month ago, and people have been like, yeah, I should do a talk about it, so I did. Yep, really proud of myself. Done and done. Okay. Um, next, I oh oh yo shit. Uh, I did some stuff in my sketchbook this week. This is a, a sketch I did while I was uh, at a Thai restaurant. It was like a girl across sitting across from me. This is like another sketch. Oops, another sketch I did of like this girl on Instagram. I think it's pretty cool. And this is a gouache painting. I think this one's pretty nice. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice, right? I didn't get a lot of likes, but I started, um, so basically I deactivated Facebook, so I started using Instagram again to, like, get my fix, you know, and, yeah, I haven't been doing much on Instagram, not a lot of likes, but, you know, um, I'm going to change my Instagram thing, hopefully I'll make it so it's just about what I want to do, like, this YouTube channel is not so much about, like, getting a lot of views and stuff, you know, it's pretty shitty quality, no one's going to like watching this. Um, but it's really good for me. Like, I enjoy doing it. One of the reasons why I don't, tr I really try, I make an intent not to care about what other people think and not to pander to other people is because in my artistic career, that's all I've ever done. Uh, it's all like, okay, you guys like girls, I'll draw some girls. You guys like cars, I'll draw some cars. You know, whatever people, whatever my professors and peers and students they liked, I would do. And decided, I made a really conscious effort to do what sparks joy in my heart, you know, for this. That's what I'm going to try to do now. Next week, I'm going to try to do a Kamari talk, um, like life after Kamari. I'm going to try to do that. Um, name painting, street. So I did some name painting this week. I um, haven't seen this in a while. So this uh, little caricature thing, this is, I'm going to ma be mailing this out soon. I did some name painting. Oh, this looks pretty cool on camera. This is one, and I was so tired doing this because I've been so out of practice. You know, Marvel Civil War, when is that trailer coming out? And, uh, yeah, so here are some name paintings. I did a birthday party this week, 
and that was pretty cool. It made like uh, $300 in an afternoon. That was really cool. Um, yes, I've, I've come so far. $300 used to be how much I made an entire week, you know, if I was lucky. And now I can make it in an afternoon. That's, that's just so freaking amazing. And I hope to just keep on working harder. And, um, yeah, you know, keep on, keep on improving, keep on moving forward. So, yeah, I did D23 this afternoon. Disney Expo, basically, yeah. So one of the reasons that I attribute to my success is that I'm always trying to think of, like, the next bigger, bigger thing. Like, right now, I'm working at a company in, um, in Hollywood, which is cool. Next, I'm going to try to work at Disney, like Imagineering or Disney Shanghai or something. And last yesterday, I found out that um, Disney had uh, a theme park, a theme park a section pavilion at the expo. So I decided to pay $60, you know, get a ticket, $60 just for like half a day until the expo for Sunday. I was busy doing this this morning. And it, it was a really great learning experience, just seeing what they had, just to look at the sketches and everything. You know, I'm not like a huge Disney fan, but it was theme park related. And I, I knew that this was an investment into my career and I decided to take it because who knows, now I might be able to make uh, $400 in an afternoon. What now I'm, I'm asking myself this, like, how can I improve? Not how can I make $500 in an afternoon? I'm thinking, how can I make $400 in an hour or something like that? Or how can I make $4,000 in a day? You know, this is called the 10 times rule. When you're not thinking about incremental changes, you're thinking about like, oh, how can I become this much better? And then you start thinking differently. You start asking different questions. Like, um, if I wanted to just increase my YouTube viewership by 10 subscribers, you know, that's one way of thinking. But what if you wanted to increase your viewership by millions of subscribers? What would you need to do differently? I hate, I'm not, I'm not trying to preach to you. I hate when people do that, actually. But anyways, it's good for myself. You know, it's basically, I'm, I'm talking to myself, Chris. Chris, that's you. I'm talking to myself. Uh, a thing I've been doing recently is automating. Um, I've been wearing the same thing to work. Basically, I wear khaki pants. Red polo, blue polo, and dark navy blue polo. I wear the same pants. And I try to wear the same thing to work every week. It just makes life so much easier. I like it. I really do like it. It's just comforting. Um, I try to eat at the same place, Chipotle, and then Asian restaurant at night. You know, when you're kind of, yeah, easier. What else? Momentum. Something about momentum. I want to talk about momentum. I, I don't know what I know. I don't know what I want to say. Um... I want to talk about um, mm, for next sex talks videos. I want to talk about my. Com I used to be a pickup artist, you know, read those books, and I used to pick up girls a lot. Uh, I think I want to do a video called like Confessions of a Pickup Artist or whatever. And I want to talk about it, even though um, I learned how to like pick up girls, you know, and be really confident. Now that I haven't practiced it in a long time, if I see a cute girl that I think I, I like and I want to talk to her, I get really afraid. And a lot of times I, I can't do it, you know. So it's like you don't use it, you lose it, you know, it's, it's now. And like the other weird thing is because I learned pickup, right, um, I have this habit, mental pattern in my mind. When I see a girl, automatically I'm like, Chris, go talk to her, go talk to her, go talk to her. You know, like that mental script in my mind is playing. And if I'm like, no, Chris, like, I don't think she should go talk to her, she's with her boyfriend. Or like, oh, I don't think I'm the right, to, I'd make some excuses to myself, like, I wouldn't do it. And I feel bad about myself. Like, I start feel guilty, feeling guilty for not talking, for not picking up chicks. I'll feel guilty. And, um, no, I'm not a fucking psychopath. Shut the fuck up. There was, there was someone on my, um, on my, on my Facebook, right, while I was doing sex talks. And she basically called me a psychopath. And then I was like... Uh, what? Am I reading right? Or is she just being rude? Or, I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm sorry, that was rude. I shouldn't have told you to shut the fuck up. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't create, take criticism really well. I, I'm horrible at criticism. 
my mom was telling me, like, Chris, you get mad so easily, you know? And when she was telling me that, I was, like, getting angry. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Um, yes, not a role model, but I hope this is authentic. I hope this is real. Um, yeah, dude, I'm in a white beater. My hair looks like shit. Sound quality shit. Everything's whatever, dude. I, uh, I'm going to get so many thumbs downs on this video. Let's see how many thumbs downs can I get.